Hey guys, it's Holly. Um, I just wanted to do another review on a foundation that I've been trying out. Um, we did, we went all the way through um, uh, Rimmel. Um, I tried every foundation that I could find in the drugstore and um, I also tried three of their BB creams, the original, the matte, and the um, radiance one. Um, they all had light coverage um, um, and uh, they were all really orangey. I didn't like the colors of those. Um, and then, like, not only were they orangey, but they also um, oxidized throughout the day, like in weird different places here, patch, there, patch, there, patch. Anyway, so I didn't really care for those. Um, there is a BB cream that I like that I'll be talking about on another video. Um, but so far, um, the Rimmel BB creams, I don't know, I just didn't like them. Um, so I did all of those, and now we're um, coming up to... Um, Sorry, there's a car driving by me. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now we're in Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Cover All Cream Foundation. Um, it says all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish. Visibright Complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and rejuvenates skin. That's quite a claim. I don't know, it's okay. Um, I actually like this one. Um, it has good coverage, I would say solid medium coverage. Um, comes in a lot of nice light shades, um, not too many dark shades. Um, there might be more shades in uh, online. Um, in the drugstore, there are probably about five or six, I would say. And uh, mine was the lightest, I believe, which is 815 Fair. It is more on the orangey side. They always try and make um, lighter foundations to be, <laughs> they try, they're going for peach, it just comes out orange. Um, so. Um, this is what the tube looks like you get let's see one fluid ounce um, I want to say this was about five or six dollars it was not that expensive um, and I, I'm wearing it right now um, I just put it on a minute ago I tried to film a, a, a demo of it but it was too long so my phone didn't work out for that um, but it has a good solid medium coverage um, looks nice on the skin gives you about a, a satin matte finish um, it's not that matte it's not like matte matte like the uh, stay matte the Rimmel stay matte was the Rimmel stay matte is matter than this one this one gives you a good skin like finish I actually really like this um, it doesn't hold up all day on my skin but it's because my um, mutated oil my radioactive oil just it just breaks everything down and um, I don't this did not oxidize on me um, which is a, a surprise um, now I just I just tried to film um, this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, which is a really natural makeup look. Um, and uh, the blush that I'm wearing right now is kind of a, it's called Chuckle by Bare Minerals, and it is kind of a, oh, uh, it's a really bright pinky peach color. This is going to, the blush is going to oxidize on me, but it has, I don't think it has anything to do with the foundation. I think it's just my skin, and just about everything oxidizes on me, like, blushes, foundations, um, but the neat thing is that this one didn't. This one was a non-oxidizer. It has more of an orangey undertone than a beigey one, which I would prefer, but um, for a um, drugstore foundation that's about five or six dollars, this is really good. I actually really like this one. Um, I think um, of the Rimmel ones that I tried, I think my favorite was, did end up being the um, uh, the lasting finish because of um, because it was a little bit more skin like than the stay matte I like the stay matte because I'm oily so um but I kind of like the way this the lasting finish felt better than the stay matte so um all right so that's this uh, wet n wild coverall and the next one I'm going to be doing is the wet n wild photo focus foundation um, so yeah let me think is there anything else Oh, um, yeah, I, I uh, applied it one half of my face with the sponge and one half with the brush. And uh, the coverage, I think, was a little bit better with the sponge, just a tad. And um, it blended in really nice. It blends in really nice to the skin, and it looks, it actually looks, I, it actually looks really nice on my skin. It doesn't look too dry, doesn't look too cakey. I am 38 years old, I'll be 39 next month, so for mature skin, um, this worked out for me. Um, yeah, I've been, tr I tried it out for a couple of weeks and I actually really like it. Um, it's not full coverage. It says it's, 
well, it says coverall. It does not coverall, but the actual claim is it's medium to full coverage. I added a little bit extra. I didn't add a full second layer, but this is one thin layer and then a little bit extra right here to try and cover my pigmentation, which it doesn't completely cover pigmentation. Um, it, I brought it a tiny bit up underneath my eyes and it doesn't cover dark circles. Um, so I think sometimes when foundations claim that they're full coverage, number one, they're not. <laughs> number two, if it says full coverage, just bet on medium medium coverage solid medium coverage good old medium coverage that's your best bet or your bets to, to not be um, disappointed um, so yeah that's that um, if you guys have any questions go ahead and comment below or questions down below um, I would just so appreciate anyone that has any advice or any um, critiques um, and when I say critiques um, nice ones um, about how I can make this better for you guys to understand and to see and all that. Um, at this point, um, it's going to be phone. I, that's all, the only way I can film is on my phone. Um, I'm kind of frustrated today because I thought it would be good lighting today, but it's almost too bright. Like I can see in my viewfinder, like it is bright and it's just reflecting off my face. I'm not getting a very good picture. So it's not really showing you the makeup, which is my goal. All right, so if you all have any uh, suggestions, requests, anything like that, just comment down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.